You can be seated. And good morning. And isn't it fun to dance around and praise the Lord together like this? I think these children's services are the highlight of the month for me. I love to see everyone involved. Um, we've just finished 21 days of fasting and prayer and devotionals that we've shared in prayer time in the mornings, Monday through Friday. Um, how many here were involved with that in some way? Yeah. yeah. And it was really a wonderful experience. And it brought us into the presence of God. Whether you fast a meal or a day, none of that really matters. It's the focus is on the Lord. And that was our aim. And we really did feel the presence of God. So God's spirit, the Holy Spirit, is it present in your life? Some people have doubts that they don't know the Holy Spirit, but we know that Jesus left this earth. He was the son of God and he was human. He was God in human form and he left. And who did he send back to us? The Holy Spirit. So we all have the Holy Spirit if you believe in Jesus. Um, and how do we know this? Shout out what you think. How do you know the scripture feelings? What about those days when you don't, you feel like you got up on the wrong side of the bed? Or when your day doesn't go like you planned? Do you still have the Holy Spirit? Yes, you do. You do. Uh, so feelings are wonderful, and we certainly sense the presence of God here today, but we have to rely on the word of God, scriptures, for sure. Psalm 21 through 20, uh, oh, I didn't write the whole verse, but uh, when I was beleaguered and bitter, totally consumed by envy, I was totally ignorant, a dumb ox in your presence, but you've taken my hand, you wisely and tenderly lead me. And then you bless me. And that's what God does for us. It doesn't matter what your performance is. Jesus sent the spirit, our mysterious connection to God, uh, to his presence. And people describe God's presence as light. Um, maybe you sense his presence through his word. Uh, maybe you have great faith. That's God's presence. Um, and he says that he'll give us shelter and he'll transform us. Those are all processes of God's Holy Spirit. Another one is that I didn't say is a big one. Can anybody think of something I didn't mention? What? We had feeling. Yes. How about another big one? How about prayer? I have an experience, you know, um, as I get older, I want to take more time to pray with people, <laughs> Christian or not, asking permission, of course. But sometimes I'm just like utterly surprised how the presence of God comes when you are just with one person. And isn't that the scripture? It says when how many are together? Two or more. So just two. And what a surprise that the presence of God comes with us. Uh, we can't go by visible things of this world, but the invisible like this. Uh, so we're going to look at some invisible things. So I have some help from the college students. I need the balloons and the tissue paper brought out. So I want you all to help me. Each of you are going to have a balloon. And you're going to get some tissue paper that goes with it. And I want you to know that to me, the balloon symbolizes the presence of God. And you're really lucky that you don't have to blow it up. We blew them up for you. But Jesus died on the cross for you. And the power of the Holy Spirit came when he left us in, from the physical. So you can give, take one, each one, and you can take 
at least six pieces of paper or so. You only need about four or six pieces. All right. So if this balloon, this is an invisible power inside here, correct? Who, who can see air? No one. Who can see the power of God? Well, sometimes we can see it in storms, maybe. <laughs> All right, take a piece of tissue. What leads you into the presence of God? Prayer. Stick it on there. Give me something else. Worship. Stick another one on. Woo! Look at that. What happens? How is this sticking? How is your sticking, Jaden? All right, what else? The word. Who's got something else? What do we? Praise. That's the big one. Ooh, I got a couple of them on here. How about fellowship? Isn't it fun to fellowship? We're going to have some food afterwards. You're all welcome to come. Anything else that you can think of? Witness. Absolutely. All right. So we, we experience the presence of God when we put faith to work. And those are all the things that we mentioned. I had an interesting experience this morning. Uh, my balloon dropped. And all, everything fell off. And I thought, hmm, that's very interesting. So if you hold the power of God, your tissue stays on. But if it goes uh, down, they fall off. So maybe that's an important lesson for us to know that we need to cling to the Lord, cling to his power, regardless of how we feel or what our circumstances are. And I, I wanted to just uh, end by reading something to you. Help me remember how safe and secure I am in you. The Bible assures me that your presence with me is a fact, totally independent of my feelings. Because your death on the cross covers all my sins, I know I'm on my way to heaven. Nothing can prevent me from reaching that glorious destination. There I will see you face to face and my joy will be off the charts. I'm thankful that even in this world, I'm never separated from you. For now, though, I must be content with seeing you through eyes of faith. I delight in your promise to walk, your promise to walk with me till the end of time and onward into eternity. Though your continual presence is guaranteed, simply knowing this truth doesn't automatically change my emotions. When I forget to focus on you, I'm vulnerable to fear, anxiety, loneliness, and other unwanted feelings. Yet I've found that awareness of your presence with me can dispel those painful feelings and replace them with your peace. Please train me in the dis discipline of walking attentively with you through each day. God bless you.